overly sleeky PC. Fine or flat hair, that's me. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a hair related video today. So sometimes I'm asked about hair tutorials and those are just not my thing, but what I thought I would do is just kind of like round up some of my hair care favorites. So hair products that I use, hair tools that I use, and then just kind of like quickly run through them and explain why I like them, what I use them for, and just talk about my hair care favorites. So that's what I've got for you today. So let's get to it. As far as shampoo and conditioner go, I really don't have a ton of standout favorites from that category, but one shampoo that I noticed myself going back to again and again, I keep repurchasing it, is this one right here. This is the John Frieda Sheer Blonde Highlight Activating Brightening Shampoo. It says brightens and clarifies for fresh blonde. And this is the one for darker blondes, but I also get the one for lighter blondes. If I can like choose between them, I usually get the one for lighter blondes. I don't know why, I don't think I'm necessarily a lighter blonde, but I like the idea of lighter blonde hair, so I get that one. And by the way, this is my natural color. I don't color my hair, so this is what we got going on. I guess it's kind of like a cool toned, sort of a blonde, that's what I've been told by hair professional people. So why I like this, they do have, I think, some things in this line that are supposed to basically have like bleaching agents in it to really kind of make your hair blonder. I think this is really just to remove the gunk. It says gently, gently removes dark, dull buildup so you can real, reveal a full spectrum of blonde tones. And I really do think that works. I think it does that. I think it does like remove the gunk um, at the roots and really just kind of like re-brightens your hair just by removing the junk in it that kind of dulls it. So I love this. It's really affordable. It has kind of a masculine scent. Yeah, kind of a little bit, but like a fresh masculine scent. Um, but it's great, it's affordable, works, and I like it. And I'm gonna run through some favorite products that I use after I've washed my hair, when my hair is still wet, before I blow dry it. So a heat protectant that I absolutely love is the Dry Bar Hot Toddy Heat and UV Protectant. So it's a cream sort of a product, so I really wondered if it would be like too heavy on my fine hair. And really, I just can't use a ton of it. I just have to kind of use it sparingly. It's a slick feeling sort of a cream. And I really feel like this has been a game changer for just my hair looking more healthy, not breaking off as much, and just not being as damaged by heat products. So, which I use. I use blow dryers and I use other things. So I'm gonna run through some of them in a minute. But heat protectant, this is awesome. An all over kind of hair perfecter product is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day five-in-one styling treatment. So basically this is supposed to be a product to just kind of like help your hair um, go with the style better, work better, style better, hold the style longer. And I do feel like this helps with that. It's just like one of those products that seems to make your hair cooperate more. Um, it has a nice smell, like a fresh sort of a scent. Yeah, and so does Hot Toddy. So they're, they're again, kind of that masculine. I think the Hot Toddy has kind of, well, maybe not. Y'all know that kind of dry bar. If you've used dry bar products, there's like different kind of, you know, scent groupings. This is one of the kind of like scent groupings. So I think it's a little bit masculine um, smelling, but I think it smells nice. This one, again, fresh, but well, less masculine than the first two products I've talked about. But anyway, Hair Perfector, this is awesome. Volumizer that is awesome is this one. This is the Tri Professional Hair Care Aero Body Infusion Spray In Volumizer. So I will use this right at my roots, again when my hair is wet, and just kind of like rub it into my roots. And I do feel like it helps just kind of like, I don't know, puff up my hair a little bit. It just seems to kind of like stand up a little bit, especially like when it's wet, like I can tell that it's doing something to kind of lift it. Of course I'm, you know, working it in, so that's doing something too. But I really wonder if you like have curly hair and you want a little bit more lift at your roots and you're gonna use a diffuser or something, I bet this would still work really well. Um, I think it just helps to kind of like pump up those um, roots and just kind of give some volume. I am obsessed with my favorite mousse. I've used this for years and every time I use it, it just makes me happy because it smells amazing and it works really well too. This is the Not Your Mother's Whip It Up Cream Styling Mousse. It says for all hair types, builds body, 
Thicken Strands Tames Frizz Non-Sticky. So if you've heard me talk about this on my channel before, I've told this story before, but when I first bought this, I bought it just like to try the smell because it says vanilla cupcake scented mousse, vanilla cupcake scented mousse. And I was like, yes, sign me up. That sounds amazing. So I bought it just based on that. I thought that's going to smell incredible. And it does. Oh my goodness. Like vanilla, sweet, candy, dessert. It smells amazing. So it totally delivered on the scent. But then once I started using it, I really like the formula of it too, because it's, it's a creamy mousse. It doesn't make my hair like crunchy and sticky feeling, which so many other mousses that I've tried do that. They just make it like a strange texture. This just helps to hold the style, give my hair a little bit of like texture and thickness, but not like a weird texture. So um, if you've tried other mousse and it's like too crunchy feeling, and if you like the scent of vanilla, give this a shot. It's affordable and it's just amazing. I, I've never like wanted to stray to other types of mousse because I'm just like, I'm happy with this one. It keeps working and again, the scent is amazing. So after I blow dried my hair and I'm about to style it either with a curling wand, curling iron, flat iron, just some kind of a heat tool, I will use this. This is the Sebastian Shine Define Shine and Flexible Hold Hairspray. So I don't really see anything on the bottle that says this, but my hair lady was telling me that this is basically like a hairspray plus a heat protectant in it. So I like it for that and that's how I use it. Like it feels like a hairspray on my hair. So it gives some like texture and hold for sure. But then I like the idea that it's got that extra level of protection. So especially like right when I'm about to, you know, heat style it with a tool. So really like it for that. It works well. Um, a little bit goes a long way. Like I've had this for a long time and it's still going strong. It's great. A couple of texture sprays that I really like are these two. So I will use these either um, on the days that I wear my hair straight and I don't flat iron it or anything. I really just kind of want to give it a little bit of like texture and something happening to it because my hair is really like fine and flat and straight. So it really just kind of sits there. So if I want to kind of give it a little bit of texture, I'll use it on my straight hair days, but also I'll use it on days like today. I didn't use it today, but I would use it on this sort of a style where I just kind of have like those loose sort of curls. I want to break them up a little bit, give them a little bit of texture. I'll use a texture spray. So this one is my favorite. This is the Redken Windblown 05 Dry Finishing Spray to hold a full windswept effect. So again, it just kind of gives that textured PC sort of a look, but this is a great drugstore option. This is the Not Your Mother's Double Take Dry Finish Texture Spray. It says two in one, tousled texture, shape and volume, medium hold. So yeah, just kind of like gives that sort of tossily textured look. I do feel like this one has a little bit more like hold to it than this one. This one feels more um, like sleek, but still, PC, so maybe more sleek and PC. This one I feel it like is more um, textured, tossily, a uh, little bit more, it's not like a hairspray, but a little bit more hold than the Redken one. So love them both, but if I had to choose, this one is my favorite, but I can use more of this one. This one I have to be kind of like, um, I have to be sparing. I have to use it sparing. I have to be sparing. I have to use it sparingly on my hair, otherwise my hair can get a little bit overly sleeky PC. So I can't use too much of this one. This one I can go a little bit more crazy with it. Dry shampoos, I have a lot. So I'm just gonna quickly run through them. First off, the Bumble and Bumble BB Preta Powder. It says it's equal parts dry shampoo, style extender, and volume in a pinch. So this is like a little, um, a little like, I don't know, got a little opening at the top and it's a powder. So you just kind of like, put it in your roots, and this is great for soaking up the oil, giving some volume back, um, giving a little bit of like texture and movement back to your hair. That was really one of the first dry shampoos that I started using that I really felt like did something and worked. Love this one, but I don't think it's around anymore. This is the Garnier Fructis Volume Extend Instant Bodifier Dry Shampoo. It says, fine or flat hair, that's me. 
So just like really does a great job of soaking up the oil and giving volume back to your hair. It's great. But I do feel like this is a good alternative to that. This is the Garnier Fructis Pure Clean Silicone Free Dry Shampoo. It says with citrus extract, normal to oily hair, instant fresh feel. So I feel like it's really similar to this. Maybe gives a little bit less volume. I'm not sure, but I think it does just as well of a job at like soaking up the oil and giving like some life back to your hair. And they smell good. All the Garnier stuff smells really good. And then this one is awesome too. Uh, clearly I like Not Your Mother's. I use a lot of their products. This is the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Tapioca Dry Shampoo. It says instant results. Natural formula, fresh volume, leaves no residue, warm sugar. So it smells amazing. It smells almost exactly like, if not exactly like the Whip It Up um, Cream Styling Mousse. So amazing scent to it. Does give a white cast, but it really does a great job of soaking up oil um, and also giving some volume back to your hair. So I like a lot of dry shampoos, but those are really probably my favorites. And then my beloved hairspray. If I could only use one styling product on my hair, it would be hairspray, you know? I mean, I'm a Texas girl, but also I feel like hairspray is the biggest game changer for my flat, fine hair. I mean, it holds my style. If I didn't use hairspray, I mean, I might as well not even ever style my hair because it would just go like so flat and just not hold anything at all. So hairspray really makes a huge difference for holding my style, but also giving texture and just something happening with my fine flat hair. So clearly I'll allow me some hairspray. And this one is my favorite. This is the Garnier Fructi Style Full and Plush Volume Hairspray. It says 24 hour hold, anti-humidity, holds body and lift. And yes, it does that. It really does hold the style, but I like that it's kind of like, um, buildable hold almost. Like if you just use one kind of quick layer on your hair, it smells really good. So you have that nice scent. You have a little bit of hold, but then you could come back and kind of like add on another layer and have more hold. So I don't feel like it really ever gets to the like crunchy sort of a stage. I mean, I'm sure it could if you kept building it, but I feel like you just kind of have options with it. So a quick little um, spray of it'll give you a little bit of hold, but then you can kind of like build up to more but it smells really, really nice, very fresh and fruity and just a yummy scent and it's really affordable. And then lastly, I'm gonna quickly run through my hair tool favorites. A lot of these look dirty just because, you know, they get used and they get um, hairspray caked on them and you know, that's just the reality of it. So pardon my dirty hair tools, but this is what I use. First off is this one, it looks terrible. Let me just hold it right here so you don't have to look at like the bottom really dirty part. So this is a reverse wand. I bought this on Amazon, I think. So let me just show you what it looks like. So it is smaller at the bottom and then larger at the top. So yeah, I bought it on Amazon. Um, I don't know if you can find it. I'm not really sure, but really just a reverse wand. That's what I styled my hair with today. Um, I just like it. Like I, I think it gives kind of a different sort of a look to the hair. Just a different sort of a curl pattern. And also I think it's different every time I do it. So that's kind of fun. It's just like, it's sort of a surprise. Like, hey, let's use the reverse wand and see what happens. Seems like it changes every time I use it. Um, I really like this one. This is the Remington, uh, I think it's like the Pearl something wand. It's really affordable. Now this one obviously is larger at the base of it and skinnier at the top. Um, so it kind of like gives more, um, of a lift, but less of a curl up at the top. So I really do like this one. Also, again, it's really an affordable um, hair tool, but it works well. I love the Hot Tools ones. This one is one of the, I think the one inch. They come out with a lot of different um, designs that are really cute and fun. I feel like it works well for just sort of like um, really classic curls. These don't hold as well. I just find that curling wands hold curl better in my hair. I don't really know why, um, but this one holds well as far as a curling iron goes, but I just find that wands hold better than curling irons for me personally. But the Hot Tool ones are some of my very favorites. I love all the different designs. Um, I like the one inch, it works well. Just gives that kind of like spiral classic curl look. And then a flat iron that I really, really enjoy. I got this for my family for my birthday a couple years ago. This is the Babyliss Pro Nano Titanium. 
And this is the same one that my uh, hair lady uses on my hair and she curls my hair with this, which I can't figure that out. But if I could, I'm sure it would, you know, work really well because when she curls it with this, it holds really, really well. And I love the look of it. So if I could figure out how to do it, I tried it, I need to practice more. Um, then yeah, makes curls too, apparently. So yeah, this is a beautiful blue um, sort of a look to it. And it's kind of a skinnier uh, plated flat iron. I like that. And it's very like smooth on the side. So I can see why it would be good for curling. All right guys, so that wraps up my hair care favorites video. So I hope that you really enjoyed it. Please do a thumbs up if you did. And let me know down below what some of your favorite hair care products are, either tools or styling products. I would love to know that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.